Hello, my name is Ben and I'm a spiral trainer. And in this video, we're going to look at Team Up. Now, Team Up allows a teacher to group the students into teams, gives them an objective, allows that team to brainstorm their best ideas. Then someone within the team can curate the final presentation from those ideas and present it back to the class. So let's see how we can create teams within Team Up. We'll click on Team Up, and it's advised to do a planned activity. So this is where you can set your Team Up title. You can set an objective for the whole class. And name the teams. Within each team, you can give them a sub-objective. So they might be working on an element of the whole objective, or they may be working on the whole, object, uh, the whole class objective. And at this stage, you can create roles. So you may want to have a captain for the team. Let's add another team. And you can keep going, adding teams, dividing up the class into fives, um, or perhaps have two teams, split them down the middle and make them work against each other in a, in a competitive environment. So once we've laid out the team structure, we can add a class. So I'm going to add this class. It's got the most students. And the students from that class will appear. Then simply drag and drop. The students into the class into the team. Okay, once you've populated your teams with the students, you're ready to launch the activity. You can save and exit it. And also on this page, you can see you can generate random teams or use existing teams, teams that you've used before. When we launch it, We'll take into this page. So now you're ready to set the program going and we have a timer here. So we may want to set it for five minutes, get people working to a clock and that will count down on their devices. So each student with their own device will be able to contribute their ideas to a final presentation. Once we launch that, Students will then start adding their ideas to the group activity. We can see how that's progressing from this teacher pane uh, panel by clicking, on, by clicking on that eye, and you'll be able to see the ideas appear as they come along. In the next video, we'll show you that in action. Once we've finished it, there'll be a complete record of the presentation as well as all of the ideas that the students have generated. Try it for yourself. Thank you.